Hey everyone, my name is Paige Leck from Let's Get Cozy on Instagram. I just wanted to jump on and start something that I've been telling myself I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I thought, no, there's enough people doing this already. They don't need me. But you know what? I think I need me to show up and do this. So I've got my latte here and I've got some things that I wanted to share. So I just want to start with the hat that I'm wearing. Um, I don't have a pattern for this. I just kind of take everything that I have learned from other people's patterns and making hats over the years um, and kind of whipped this together. And then I love these pom-poms. This one's from Joann's or Michael's. I think probably Joann's. And it's elastic, so you can switch it out. I just sew a button on the top of my hats and then twist the elastic around the button. And so I think it's pretty cute. It's easy. This is weighed with um, Wally's Quick and Thick. And it's not scratchy at all. It's super warm. And I love it to keep me warm on these cold winter days. So maybe let's back up and I can tell you a little bit about myself. I am... I stay at home mom right now. I'm a registered nurse by trade. I've been staying home for the last um, about two and a half years um, since the start of the pandemic. Um, I was pregnant with my first son and just didn't know if it was safe to be working in the emergency room where I was working. And uh, my husband was super supportive and luckily we were able to financially swing it for me to stay home with our kids. Now we have a two-year-old boy and we have a one-year-old little girl. She just turned one a couple days ago. So, you know, really throwing myself into motherhood has kind of made me stop and question, who am I still? If I'm not working as a nurse right now, who am I and what do I enjoy what fills up my cup besides coffee. <laughs> um, so I have been within the arts, just literally you name a craft and an art form and I have done it and tried it. Um, you know, from learning to knit when I was a really little girl for my grandma, learning to sew for my grandma, I've always been an artist, coloring, drawing, painting. And then in school, I, I've been in music my whole life, piano, I played clarinet, um, saxophone, all those things. And then in high school, I was almost also in drama and theater and taking pottery classes, taking painting classes. I just really feel the most myself when I'm being creative. And that doesn't really matter what that looks like. As long as I am creating and doing something with my hands, that is when I feel, I feel the best and my cup feels filled. So I've really had to take a step back from my life now as a mom and remember like who I am. And that is an artist of some kind. So, you know, we moved into this house when um, uh, about two years ago, we moved from Minnesota to Wisconsin and for my husband's job. And our home is exactly what we were looking for as far as space. We were looking for space. And whether that, you know, came as a fixer upper or came as a beautiful home that we could move into, we were really just looking for the space where our family could grow. Um, we could entertain family and friends. That's super important to us. And now that we aren't close to any family, we really wanted to make sure that there was a space for them to feel welcome and that they could stay a while. And also Wisconsin winters, we really wanted to make sure that we had an indoor space for the kids that, you know, they could run free and it was just, you know, their space. So we didn't have to worry about it staying clean and all that kind of stuff. So this house had exactly that. It had lots of space, but it was built in the 90s and it just wasn't exactly my cup of tea. This room, you can kind of see it a little bit, is the office and we don't need a home office. So we've been slowly kind of taking down these cabinets. Um, it, I feel like it's 
a beautiful setup for the people who owned it before us, but it just doesn't, you know, fulfill our needs for this room. So eventually when these cabinets come out, this is going to be kind of like the kids' playroom on the main floor and my craft room, my, my space where I am filling that closet with all my yarn and all my crafting supplies. And it's just going to be my little escape room when the kids are asleep. So um, I told you about this hat. Some other projects I've been working on is stuff around the house. I recently built a buffet table in our dining room and that was a lot of fun because I've never really made anything like I've never made furniture before. <laughs> so there was a big learning process. I, um, you know, had to learn how to measure properly and not just winging it and had to learn how to make the proper cuts and pocket holes and gluing. So that was a lot of fun. I took the knowledge I had from working on stuff with my grandpa and kind of applied that and you know, you can learn anything on YouTube nowadays. So that helped me a lot too. So I just finished that and I can try and add some pictures to help you see kind of what I finished. And it really just looks so beautiful with all the Christmas decorations on it right now. Um, some other things that I've made around the house are some like picture ledges and I wallpapered our powder bath and I wallpapered the little dining nook in our kitchen. We've changed a lot of light fixtures painted a mural in my daughter's room. So I really just have kind of slowly but surely over the last two years have just been putting my my signature on things. You know, it was someone else's home and I really want it to feel like our home because we're probably going to be here for a very long time. So I'm really excited for this room and I'm excited for it to kind of transform behind me as the, the months go on. So another hat that I made recently was actually a test knit for Whimsy North. She lives about an hour south of me in Madison, Wisconsin. And this was called the Anna Lee hat. I made this one for my daughter. And you know, my husband being from Minnesota is a Vikings fan. But now that we live in Wisconsin and our daughter was born in Wisconsin, I feel like if she wants to be a Packers fan, that is fine by me. So I made her this little hat, the Anna Lee hat, and it is made out of the same Woolies quick and thick and it has just a really simple three color color work pattern I, just thought, I thought that was super fun and I'm so glad I got the opportunity to test that for her because it turned out to be super cute super warm she's worn it sledding she's worn it out to the grocery store and it's worked out really well so I really like this hat and I have the Bernat pom-pom maker this is not hard to do, you guys. You need to get one of those. You literally just wrap the pom the yarn around the pom-pom maker and it like does it for you. It's so easy. You make two cuts, tie a piece of the yarn, and you're done. So really love that. Love that pattern. I think she was doing a 20% off sale for a little while because it just came out, I think, last weekend. So head over to Whimsy North and see, check out this pattern. She's made a bunch of different colors and it's super, super cute. And then... Um, I don't have any other finished objects at the moment because I just mailed them all out actually. I made um, some handmade little beaded ornaments for some of my girlfriends and a couple of my family members this Christmas. So I was working on Christmas gifts pretty much all month. Um, my girlfriends really like martinis and they like to drink them together because like what girls don't like to get together and have a cocktail. Um, so I made them all little martini glasses ornaments and I took a couple pictures so I could try to put those in there also. So I really just have been enjoying like switching it up. A little bit of construction, a little bit of building, a little bit of knitting and some other kind of hands-on project. I like switching it up. I get, I, I don't like sticking to one type of thing for too long. Otherwise I get bored and I need to try something else. So this has been like the perfect blend for me. I have a local yarn shop in Sauk City, Wisconsin, and it is called, uh, oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank, but I got my yarn for this next project I'm going to show you there at my local yarn shop. And I started the wool and honey sweater by Dre Renee Knits. And I am just obsessed with this color. My yarn shop didn't have this one in stock. But besides this like burnt color, 
for an orange color. I obviously love olive green. So I got this really awesome Brooklyn Tweed. And it was called Yellowstone, which I thought was really cool because my husband and my son and I, before my daughter was born, we went on a trip to Yellowstone, and had a really awesome time. So I thought, oh, well, that's kind of cool. So this is Yellowstone by Brooklyn Tweed. It's a wool and spun. I love how there's just like, from far away, it's gonna look like I'm wearing an olive green sweater. But when you look up close, it has orange and yellow and some gray, and it's just really cool. So that's the color I've been, I've been working with. And this is how far I am. I just started the second section of the yoke you can see all these honeycomb patterns. Super, super cool. There's some short rows in the back so that it fits well. And I am loving this. And it's not a complicated knit. Like I was super intimidated when I saw this sweater design release years back. And I thought, oh, I could never do that. Like I am not that skilled of a knitter. You guys, this is way easier than I, I expected. I have made like, four sweaters in the past. So I've done like a raglan sweater, raglan construction. I've done um, just like kind of the box style where then you seam together the ends and work on your sleeves. I've never done a yoke style before. So this is my first yoke style sweater and I really like it. I think it's gonna be a really cool color. And then when you, when I'm finished and you block this out, these um, honeycombs will lay really flat and be super duper cool. So that is what I've been working on lately. Um, another thing that I just finished, Christmas is only like four days away. My husband and I got our kids an Ikea play kitchen and I just finished kind of adding my little touches to it. Um, I made a fridge because there's no fridge for the Ikea play kitchen. So the hack that I learned is that you take a Billy bookcase and I had some extra plywood left over from my buffet table build and I made a freezer door and a fridge door, painted those, and then I painted a couple doors from the Ikea kitchen to match. And there you go. It looks super cute. So I learned how to do all the hinges and everything when I did the buffet. So the, the, the fridge came together really, really quickly. So that was a lot of fun. So, you know, my plan for the rest of this channel is just to kind of be my video diary about what I'm working on and what I've learned, kind of take you guys along the way of some other stuff that I'm working on and just let this be another like creative outlet for me as far as like showing what I'm working on and getting some advice on things. So I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do this a long time and I just haven't had the guts to do it. So I'm looking forward to it. This is kind of like one of my 2023 resolutions and I'm starting early, so look at me go. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. You know, this is a quick little video and I, you know, I plan to do these more in the future. So stay tuned to see what's coming. Thanks guys.